All right, YouTube, what's going on? So we're getting ready to go on that camping trip, and I have this uh, pack from Military Luggage Company. This is their three-day stretch backpack. Um, here's your little thing that comes with it. It's got about 3,920 cubic inches. It's a pretty dang good size bag. Um, you know, definitely would work great as a 72-hour bug-out bag. 600 denier nylon. Um, we'll kind of go over some of the uh, features of it. These do have a lifetime guarantee on them, which is great. Now, I am testing this bag out this weekend. Um, or actually, not this weekend, tomorrow. Going on a little camping trip with my son. Go do a little shooting and a little camping in. But you can see I've got uh, some, I've already got, actually got this bag loaded up. It's got some good molly attachment here. I've got two knives uh, attached there. The uh, Ontario SP-51 and then the Charade um, Bayonet survival knife which I'm going to be testing up there so both those have molly attachments you can see I can attach two molly or two uh, knives there so I like the molly attachments here and you've got compartments here where you have just turn my viewfinder around so I can see what I'm doing uh, you have a small compartment here where the molly is I've got you've got a pal and I'll actually um, go over these individually uh, in, a, in a different time. You can see I've got a, I've got a bunch of stuff back in here. I've got uh, some ammo, some of my Emberlit stove that I'm going to be testing out this weekend also. Really stoked for that. Uh, so you got this compartment here. It's got a little mesh pocket here and it's got like some little pen holders. Um, I've just got some a fire steel, a bunch of other stuff shoved in there. So since we're using this for a camping bag this weekend. Um, Next compartment, you've got a middle one here, and I've got some gloves and my, it's got a big mesh pocket here, uh, as you can see there, and it's got my ear and hearing protection and stuff. Um, this is kind of doubling as a range bag for me this weekend because I'm going shooting and I want to bring two range bags. So you've got these nice compression straps here on the sides, then you have your large main compartment here. I've got a emergency escape bivy, probably going to be sleeping in that, testing that out. Uh, I'm going to have my tarp shelter put up, got my schmog water bottle with a um, cup. I'm going to be packing some more stuff in here. So you got a really large main compartment, and what I like about it, it's got these straps inside that you can compress your clothing or whatever down with. So that's a really nice feature there. You've got a really good, um, so there's tons of space. Now here's the cool thing about the bag, is it's got this separate secondary zipper right here you can see. What that actually does is expands. So you unzip that, and then it expands the bag to have even more capacity, which is a really cool feature. So if you need to use this for travel, or like I said, a bug out bag, 72 hour kit, it's perfect. Um, I like the compression straps here. You can, you know, attach things to here. Maybe like a uh, mat, a sleeping mat, or you know, something like that on there, on the side. It's weird though. I will say I don't understand why they did Molly here but they did it running this direction instead of up and down. That would have made 10 times more sense to me, so I'm not sure why they did that, but it's nice to have that, but it's kind of going the wrong direction. It's kind of funny, so that was one thing that kind of protects me. Um, it's got a nice big handle, big carry handle, which is really nice, especially if you're going to use it for traveling. Um, it's got a really nice handle, but I like having these kind of handles in my bags because you know sometimes you just want to grab the bag. You don't want to grab it by the straps. Um, the straps are nice. They do have a little bit of uh, molly on them as well, so you could attach. Um, but again, it's going the wrong direction, so it should be going this way. But anyway, you can use it for other things. You can detach things there. You've got a um, waist strap, a chest strap, excuse me, and then your big old, big old padded um, waist. Uh, they're actually, I mean, it's not that padded, but they're nice. They're, they're nice um, straps, and then you've got your waist buckle. So. Overall, it's a pretty good sized bag. I mean, it's going to get some use this weekend, and I'm actually going to be giving away this bag in my 3,000 subscriber contest. And I'll I'll probably do a separate video where I you know talk about that. But I'm giving away that bag, um, so I'm going to test out a little bit, giving one of those away to a lucky winner, as well as the Schrade um, bayonet uh, survival knife. I'll be giving that away in the contest as well. So hopefully. Uh, this video airs before the contest video, <laughs> so I don't give it away twice, but um, 
We're going to be testing that out this weekend. So that is the Military Luggage Company three-day stretch pack. Um, really good quality pack uh, for the money. Um, on their website, I think they're... Oh, <laughs> and there's Duke hanging out in the background. <laughs> Didn't even realize you were in the viewfinder there, bud. That's my black lab. Um, these run, they run about 50 bucks on their website, I believe, which is really reasonable for the size of pack it is. Um, it's comparable in size to my Rush 72, I believe, um, as far as the size. So, All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the, the uh, video for now. We'll see you next time.